Hi friends. So today we are starting the subject called to be in VLSI design for third year semester two. Okay, before entering into the subject, so we have to know what is the basic knowledge required in order to understand the, the concept present in the VLSI design. So here the requirement of the basic knowledge. So for engineers, so the basic subject is mathematics. Okay, if you understand the mathematics concept, then automatically you can understand the concept present in the physics. So if you are having the knowledge in the physics, automatically you can understand the concepts in the EDC. And of that you will go for the STLD, switching theory logic design. Okay. So of that you will go for the DST. So these previous subjects are required in order to get understand the concepts present in the VLSI design. So of that it will go for the low power VLSI of that finally we will go for the project. So acronym of VLSI design. So VLSI stands for or acronym as very large scale integration. So here what is mean by scaling? Scaling is nothing but measurement of any parameter may be reduced or increased. May be reduced or increased. May be reduced or increased. And here what is mean by integration means here it is going to be get the so the requirement electronic component the requirement electronic components on a single area on a chip single area on a chip so that is the main purpose of the very large scale integration so here before entering into the subject VLSI design so mainly the VLSI design domain was developed because of the development of an integrated circuits. Okay, here the integrated circuits was inverted by or discovered by Jack Kilby at Texas Instrument. Okay. So now we are entering into the unit one. So in unit 1 you are having the introduction part and basic electrical properties of MOS and bi CMOS circuit. Okay, in uh, introduction so we will be having the concepts behind so how an IC is fabricated so this, uh, what are the steps are required to fabricate an ICs so they are PMOS, NMOS, CMOS and by CMOS SY process technologies and in second part that is in basic electrical properties of MOS and by CMOS so here we are going to know the some of the mathematical functionalities of the MOS and by CMOS circuits and the test books uh, preferred for this unit one is uh, so an author called to be a Pucknell and the test book name is essential of VLSI circuits and systems and and the second one K Lal Kishore is an author for VLSI design and uh, and he is in uh, vice chancellor of uh, V Jain Tu Anantapur previously. Okay, now so here what is meant by ic ic is nothing but integrated circuits and some of the times it is also called even a chip or microchip or it is in semiconductor wafer so here it will be having in some thousands of millions of tiny registers capacitors and transistors are fabricated on the chip 
and this ISIS can be used for many application purposes like oscillators and uh, amplifiers, timers, computer memories or microbus it can be uh, applied or it can be used for many application purposes and here ICs also can be characterized either in the form of linear or discrete depends upon the application required so what why we going for the integrated circuits the main purpose is integration means integration improves so size of the equipment is reduced and speed is nothing but performance so performance of the particular equipment will be will be increased and power so power consumption of particular component or electronic components will be reduced and the main purpose going for the integration is in order to reduce the manufacturing cost so this is a main so manufacturing cost is then which going to be applied for preparing a electronic equipment so these are the some of the main points why we are going for an integrated circuits so here evaluations of ICs so evaluations of ICs is nothing but that how many number of electronic components are placed on the chip can be evaluated can be evaluated for example here so we have been evaluated as SSI, MSI, LSI, VLSI. SSI defines the small scale integration, so which will have been used at 1960, and here it will be having an 10 to 100, 10 to 100 components present on the chip, so it can be used as a logic gates and msi so msi is nothing but medium scale medium scale integration so here it has been uh, used at 1970 and here the number of components present on the chip is 100 to 1000 and here it can be used as logic function and counters next LSI large scale integration so large scale integration it is used during the year of 1980 and here it will be having a thousand to ten thousand components present on the chip and it is in first microprocessors on the chip next VLSI means very large scale integration so it has been started at the year of 1995 and here the number of components present on the chip is uh, so 10,000 to 1 million and here it can be used as 64 bit microprocessor and complete with the catchy memory okay here so here we should have the knowledge about the what Moore's law is stated what Moore's law is stated so in the year of 1965 Gordon Moore's law he is an Intel co-founder and chairman who predicted the, the number of transistors would be continue to shrink so allowing that is that is so here the transistor density transistor density will be doubled for every 18 to 24 months and he also predicted that the performance also will be doubled for every 18 to 24 months okay and this period can commonly considered as 18 months for every 18 months the number of 
transistor density will be double and the performance also will be double it was stated by the Gordon Morse and so this is the timeline so this is the timeline where we have been use the different technologies so here at 2002 we have been used 180 nanometer okay in 2004 we have been used 130 nanometer and in 2006 we have been used 90 nanometer in 2008 we have been used 65 nanometer in 2009 we have been used 40 nanometer in 2012 we have been used 28 nanometer in 2014 we have been used 20 nanometer in 2015 we have been used 16 nanometer now in 2020 2020 so they have been used so 10 nano meter so here first of all we have to know what is meant by a nanometer nanometer is nothing but it going to be tell the the length and width of the components which was fabricated on the chip so here the nanometer is nothing but 10 power minus 9 meter technology so the technology is nothing but here it is going to be tell the the length and width of the electronic component used on the chip okay so this is about the timeline of the technology used and this is a timeline of the electronic devices so during the time of 1942-50 we have been used the transistors okay so uh, during the year of 1952-60 so we have been developed the integrated circuits during 1962-70 processors so after 1972-80 we have got the DSP processors so after that we went for FPGAs as it FPG is nothing but field program will get array ASIC is nothing but application specific integrated circuits and of that we went for uh, SOC SOC is nothing but a system on chip so here it can be used as a sensors and transducers integrated on the SOCs and here we are going to be tell the the domain of the VLSI here the domain of the VLSI is structured into three different modes one is design and another is CAD and another is technology okay here in design in design what you are going to be do in design first we have we should know what we need to do First, we know. Uh, first, we have. Uh, we should have a particular idea what we need to do. Okay. After that, we need to uh, design the circuit for the particular idea, and then we need to write the program for the following circuit diagram, and we need to be analyze. So that is done by the designer. Okay. So of that. So it moves to the CAD tool. CAD is nothing but computer aided design. So here computer aided design what it going to be done. So it is going to be design the circuit in the layout. So what we have been analyzed before. What we have been analyzed before. It is going to be design the circuit and the layout by using the computer aided design tool. And here they will go for the verification so after verification it move to the manufacturing part that is an ic uh, ic manufacturing here they are going to be decide the what technology we need to be used to design the particular 
component so this is the domain of the VLSI and IC technologies so here in IC technologies we are having the bipolar technology MOS and bi CMOS technology. In bipolar uh, technology, we used to have transistor transistor logic, emitter coupled logic. In metal oxide uh, silicon technologies, we are having an NMOS, PMOS, and CMOS. CMOS is nothing but combination of NMOS and PMOS. And uh, bio CMOS technology is nothing but it is a combination of uh, bipolar technology and CMOS technology. And here it is a material what we have been used that is in gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide. So where it has been used for high speed purpose. Next we went for silicon and germanium for radio frequency purpose. And here we are going to be see the the image of the hard drive so the data content is 5 MB the data content is 5 MB so this is the 5 MB hard drive and it was lifted by the more than two to three persons into a container so during the year of 1956 So, what ad advancement done by the VLSI? So, this is the advancement done by the VLSI domain. So, here, so at 1956, so it is the hard drive of 5 MB. Okay, now at the year of 2013. So we are ha we have got the, the hard drive at the size of passport size with the four terabyte. So four terabyte is nothing but four zero ninety six GB. Okay, four zero nine six GB size of hardware was developed at the size of passport so this is the main advancement done by the vlsi domain okay okay and this these are the some of the companies presented in our india like uh, so mode roller okay semiconductor complex and dell soft and control net india and big mapper so these are the some of the companies present in our india thank you guys